My friends, we are not finished yet. There was more of those vinyl treasures from 1984 just lurking in the shelves. I just had to pull them out. I knew 1984 was such a big, big year in music that I had some more in the collection that I can share with you, the vinyl community. So I'm going to go ahead and just get it kicked off with some West Coast Electro. 808 beats right there. Look at that cover. It's got synthesizer 808. It's got the turntable on there. Mr. Andre Manuel. And this is off the Techno Hop record label, West Coast Electro. Here's what the back of it looks like. Very iconic cover. Uh, you like that West Coast Electro, Unknown DJ, DJ Slip, Arabian Prince, Egyptian Lover. If you like that style of music, definitely pick this one on. 808 Beats. Going to probably Miami Bass, Electro. We got another big hit by Mr. Pretty Tony. This is called Fix It In The Mix. It's right there off of Music Specialist. That is his record label. Going to New Wave Synth Pop. I uh, really enjoy this band a lot. Uh, they are from Australia. And you know what I'm talking about. In Excess. This is the original Sin, Dream On. And in the background vocals, we got Daryl Hall from, da from Hall & Notes. It's really good. There you go. There's the group. Fantastic song. I would say this is my favorite song. By in excess, original sin. It's got that good, that good synth pop flavor to it, especially when the background vocals of Daryl Hall. It's so good. Some of that blue-eyed soul mixed with that Australian synth pop new wave, just it goes really good together. Human League. This is Hysteria, and this has got the uh, the main song that I bought this record for. It's called The Lebanon. ABC, this is a German import. This is How to Be a Zillionaire. Uh, this is the uh, Wall Street mix. Very good. The thing about ABC, when you get their covers, always they look like cartoon characters. There you go, Martin Fry. There's the man, Martin Fry, F-R-Y. Really good. This is, a, this is a good one to have. This is a collectible... It just sounds so good. Now, this is kind of rare. Um, this group right here, uh, it's more of a, a German synth pop. They part of the uh, like the Tala TLC uh, West Side that that uh, that sound they had out in the mid '80s. This is X Audrey, and this is called Surrender, and this is a German import right here off of west side that's what the back of it looks like if you don't know this group uh i think it was 88 four years later they came out with a song called you i'll see you in my dreams the beauty and the beauty and beast remix it was a very good one to have this might be their very first single to come out from this group surrender by ax audrey Going to some old school electro freestyle from 4th and Broadway, 1984. And this is a promo. This is Nuance, Take a Chance. Really good song. Good electro, good beats to it. Lover vocals. Uh, so essential back in 84. Here we got the Thompson Twins. And this one right here, I didn't know about it till I heard it on the radio. And it's from their very famous album to come out. And it's called The Gap by the Thompson Twins. And this is a promo. Uh, this particular track, it kind of sounds like, uh, like Arabian music kind of in the background. And it, it's like no other song I've ever heard. So it's, it's not a, a typical song that you hear from... The group that gave you Dr. Doctor, Hold Me Now, 
But this track right here, when I first heard it, I just had to get the 12 inch single of The Gap. And I think that's the, uh, the title of their album that came out in 84 as well. I don't know if they got a pictured cover of this next one. This is a 12 inch single of Lisa Lisa and the Cold Jam with Full Force. I wonder if I take you home. And this is the only one that I have. So it just comes in a generic black jacket. So good one to have. Love Lisa Lisa. Here we go, another one. Almost forgot to show this one. This is off of Rapture Records. And this is Bobby Jimmy and the Critters. Besides We Like Ugly Women, they came out with Big Butt. So really good. He's a uh, very comedic uh the way he uh, he raps in in this song right here, just talking about big butts, just like the other one talking about uh, we like ugly women. And they got uh, another one that they come out. It's uh, I think on their album. It's kind of a weird title. I can't remember the name of the album from Bobby Jimmy and the Critters. So, like I said, you know some of these albums. If I don't buy it on Discogs, and I always say that you know you go to record store. If it's in there, if it's a good price, I'm probably gonna pull it out. So just uh, next time, maybe I'll get that one. Now, before the iconic 1985 album that just uh, kind of ruled the world, and you know the group I'm talking about, this is Tears for Fears. This is Shout. And this was one of the singles that actually was released in 84 off of Songs of the Big Chair, which was 85. And Mother's Talk was another 12-inch single that I showed in one of my early videos from Tears for Fears. So, yeah, when I first heard this song, I just had to have it. Went to the record store, picked it up. Shout. This one was my favorite song by a very good, unique, talented, must-have group. And I'm talking about Echo and the Bunnymen. I just love this. This is a uh, UK pressing of The Killing Moon. So good. This is the all night version. So all night version came out, this particular one, in 84. It was in January of 84. And the very first track of The Killing Moon was actually released like late summer, fall of 83. And this one right here was 84. So that's why I'm showing in this segment of my 1984 records so really really good song and the, the extended 12 inch version this all night version is really good it just it just captivates you it's just good stuff unique cover as soon as i seen the cover i seen the artist just had to get it blamage um mons tout i think it's called right there it has Blind Vision, and it has Don't Tell Me on here. I'm not sure about the rest of them, but very unique cover. Uh, it's got a lot of symbols with the fish and elephant, and I don't know what it means, but it's really cool. So when I seen the cover, I pulled it out. Love the artist. Two tracks I'm very familiar with, and I love it a lot. This is a very popular old school song that came out in 84 and this is by Strafe Set It Off Set It Off to the left Set It Off to the right Set It Off by Strafe really good song they played this song I can't remember there was an 80's sitcom that they actually like the uh, the actors they would they would kind of sing and dance to the song I can't remember which one it was, but it was this actual song right here. Set it off. Next one is a, I guess, kind of an early EBM, kind of synth pop, kind of alternative. And the name of the group is Later Neckin. And this one's called A Mock. And it's a, a promo copy. 84, but in 87, I believe they came out with a song called uh, Do the Boogaloo. They came out. And that's more of a popular song. When I start going to the clubs, that's the first song that I heard. 
but I had a mixed CD that came out uh, somebody had made for me and they had this song right here called Amok. I'm like, I don't know who that is. And then I found out it was the same group that did Do the Boogaloo. Later knocking. Fantastic old school electro freestyle off the jam pack orange label. Probably the most collectible from this artist is Debbie Deb. Lookout Weekend. This was 84. And I want to say her other song, uh, When I Hear Music, I think the very original copy came out in 83. So this would be her follow-up, Lookout Weekend. Probably Lookout Weekend is much more popular than her other track. But yeah, Debbie Deb is very, very, very talented. like it a whole lot. This next one, I was lucky to get this in sealed condition. This is off of Streetwise Records, and it's the Streetwise Black uh, Company jacket to go with it. This is a group called Air Force One, and the name of the track is I See the Light. Yeah, See the Light. Yeah, not, not too popular track on that. I just went up. I heard it for the first time. There was a sealed copy that came up on Discogs and I just had to get it. So just trying to collect some of those uh, Streetwise label stuff. Uh, Streetwise, I wanna say New Edition came out on Streetwise in 82. I have that that song, Candy Girl, that came out in 82. And I wanna say it was Streetwise. But yeah, they got some really good stuff on this label. And on the other video, I was trying to think of the the label that this group came out. And this is a different label. The first label was Ethic Music by The Invisibles. It was Donkey Kong Catch You in the Break. This is actually the second pressing to come out in the same year. Here's Dubwise Records, The Invisibles, Donkey Kong Catch You in the Break. Now, when I see this next artist, I think of the producer. I think about the uh, one of the artists that's within this group is Trevor Horn. When you think of Trevor Horn, of course, we got to be thinking about the art and noise. Who's afraid of beatbox? Moments of love. Close to the edit is on here. They had another, and this is more of a. This is probably more of an EP. In 83, they had one called In the Battle with the Art of Noise. And this is their follow-up, Who's Afraid Of. Who's Afraid Of has the close to the edit, but the one in 83 does not have that track on there. So if you get this one right here, it has three of their top hits. Beatbox, Close to the Edit, and also Moments of Love. So this is the one you got to get. Next up is more, I guess, goth, synth pop, dark wave. If I'm if I'm saying these genres right, the name of the group is called Dance Society. Heaven is waiting. Really good song. I would say. 84, this is a little ahead of its time. When I hear the song, I think it's more 86, 87. So it's more, more of a progressive sound. But that's pretty cool that this group, Dance Society, came out with this great record. So it's a really good song. Unique cover, too. Another very popular, I think they're from Germany, synth pop group. I don't have their LP. This is a 12-inch single of Big in Japan by Alphaville. It's got the extended vocal and also the instrumental on here. Very, very good song. And it's the extended version 
Sounds good. I like, I do like the one off the LP, but this one's good as well. So it's, it's two different styles of Big in Japan. So, but if you like the little bit longer version, get this one right here. This one, I picked up the wrong one earlier. I actually, I was showing one from Hashim, but I finally got it out of the stack and I found the right one. We're rocking the planet off of Cutting Records. This is Hashim, which in 83 came out with Our Nay Fish the Soul. 84 came out with this one, We're Rocking the Planet. 86, I believe, uh, Primrose Path that came out. It was a good one. 85, I'm not sure what song uh, Hashim came out with. So, yeah, really good electro in here. We're rocking the planet. When you listen to it, it doesn't sound like we're rocking the planet. And I always, when I used to have my tapes back in the day, I used to record off the radio and I heard that song. I, I didn't know it was Hashim, but it's like, I thought it was a different title. So that was one of those songs that when you listen to it, you don't know the title of it until you do a little research on it. I don't know if they got a... Uh, a company jacket for this one. I wish they did. This has become really good collectible. I think it's West Coast Electro. And this is Mr. Kid Frost. This is Rough Cut. The Rough Cut, I think, was also released. Uh, Commando Rock that I showed earlier. That was 84. Rough Cut off the Electro Beat. 84 as well. 85 was Terminator that came out. And that's a good highly collectible record as well this is the original the og is the purple as you can see there i think the repress the following year in 85 was a uh, i think it's a blue label so if you see the blue label that's not the original this is the original right here on this purple label back to west coast Mr. Ice T. And what Mr. Ice T came out in 84. And of course, you know, he was the vocals on the uh, Reckless song off the Breaking soundtrack. But this one right here, I was looking for the song, but it was actually on side B. Body Rock. There we go. Off Electro Beat as well. Kind of like the same, the same company as this record right here from Kid Frost. And here, he, look at, look at Ice-T right there. Look, he's all dressed fly with his, uh, with his old school outfit. He's ready to go rock the beats right there, Mr. Ice-T. Now, the first side is called Killers. So, Killers is actually on side one. And the second side is Body Rock. Really like that song. This next artist um, heard it off of kind of like a remix or something off of YouTube. And when I heard it, I just love his vocals. I wasn't really familiar with this artist. This is a synth pop from 84. This is King. Love and Pride. He just, he just takes his voice. It just makes it soar. And the music is so good. So... This is kind of a song that I like to play over and over again. So if you know this one, this is really, really good to have. Love and Pride by King. Iconic song. I mean, this, this song has been played so many times. Played in the club. It's been remixed by uh, Gwen Stefani that came out with it also. And you know what I'm talking about. It's My Life. Here's the OG copy by Talk Talk. Good stuff. Iconic. Classic. Vintage. Here we go. I bought this really cheap. And it's from an artist that was really popular during 83, 84. And it's Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Oh, of ZTT Records. This is uh, called Two Tribes. And I think that was featured off their album 
that came out. And this one's really good. And I think that's a picture of linen on there. So, yeah, classic stuff. There was a song I was looking for by this next artist. It was... It was on my want list. I didn't get the 12-inch single, but I got this EP by Mr. Howard Jones. This is called the 12-inch album. And the song, and I have I have new song on 12-inch single. I have What Is Love, but I like this song a whole lot right here. Like to get to know you well. Really good song. And this is another good one too. Uh Pearl in the Shell extended mix so classic vintage songs 12 inch version mr howard jones with his 12 inch album next one was really popular in 1980 1981 but in 1984 here we go to visage steve strange beat boy uh, two good tracks, of course, is Beat Boy and Love Glove off of here. I'm not familiar with the rest of it, but cool cover, too. Now, I'm going to show the last 12-inch, and then I'm going to show you some 45s. And I actually just went to the record store. They had 50% off. Oh, and, you know, when you go to the record store, there's a, my collection has been growing, especially with synth pop. New Wave, Electro, Freestyle, things like that. I see a lot of the same records. I'm, I'm trying my hardest not to get double copies. It's just, it's, it's starting to get a little difficult. There's like my want list on Discogs. The stuff I want is rare and it's, it's hard to find. So I seen this one that if I said to myself, it was in a record store, I pick it up. So I did. Electric Breakdance, the hottest breaking music. Jam on it. We got Magic's Wine by Houdini. We have Electric Kingdom, White Lines, Play That Beat, Mr. DJ, Rocket, and also got It's Like That by Run DMC. Really good record. I mean, just full of hits. And when I was looking at the, the top right there, which was pretty cool. I'm not going to take this off. Because it's the original barcode from the original store that it was bought. Howard Brothers. Do you remember Howard Brothers back in the early 80s? That uh, they sold a lot of records. And this particular record was bought from Howard Brothers in 1984. And there's the sticker on the top to prove that. So the only thing that I regret. When I seen this, I knew that was the, the record jacket that actually had the giant poster in there but this one did not have the poster in it so didn't pay that much for it but when i seen it i actually bought it from the soundtrack section so that's where i got it and here we go with some 45s i'm gonna show the first one that i got let me get it for you okay this is the one i got from the same record store today and this one, I have a 12-inch single that was released in 84. This is the 7-inch the single that was released in 85. But for the purpose of 84, classic stuff, celebrating 40 years, there we go. Gino Vanelli, Black Cars. Black Cars look better in the shade. There we go. Good song. Uh, good synth pop. I know he was real popular in the 70s. But, yeah, he, he came to 1984 and came out with Black Cars. Um, heard that on a, uh, on a remix CD and I just had to get it. I didn't know it was Gino Vanelli, Black Cars. All right, let me show this to you real quick. Depeche Mode, People of People. Rainforest, Paul Hardcastle. Got the original profile jacket to go with it. There we go, it's Shannon. Give me tonight. Jam on it. Nucleus. And I don't show many 45s in my videos, but I, I want to show these. Houdini freaks come out at night. 
Here we got Friends and Five Minutes of Funk, Houdini. Uh, pick this one up. The Real Rock, Roxanne, Roxanne by UTFO. Here's a rare one you ne never see in the record store in the 45s. When you go by, by the 45 section, it takes a long time because usually the seller has so many 45s in there. So when I was scanning through there and I seen this Vanguard label, and there we go, Siberian Nights. It's green on one side and it's a reddish orange on the other. Uh, the one Electric Kingdom that came out in 83, it's the same way. It's green on one side, that orange red on the other. This is a uh, fourth and Broadway, and I, ha I had that on 12 inch single too. Nuance, and we showed it earlier. Take a chance. And the last 45 I'm going to show for you today, my friends. And again, I'd like to thank everybody for taking this journey with me to celebrate 40 years, 1984, these vinyl records were released. Shaka Khan, I feel for you. So that's how we're going to end it. That takes care of four videos of 1984. Thanks again. Appreciate everybody joining me. And I want to show some more videos. And be, be alert of probably I'm going to show collectible records. Let's do that. Collectible records, probably a lot of electro and some, some pop. That's highly collectible. So maybe that'll be the next video. So please stay tuned. Thanks, everybody.